Hello community, we have a new Claude Sonnet 4, isn't this great? This is the free version, or you have the pro version, the Opus 4, but today we go for the Sonnet version and we have a style explanatory. So, and you know what we do, we copy and paste here simple my extreme test that I developed here for Strawberry. I do this test here for now close to a year. Let's see. Let's start right do have a look. So, you are live with me. I will work through this logic puzzle step by step. Let me start by organizing. Okay. Phase one, direct deduction from original clues. Okay, we have the clues. This is beautiful. Phase two, connecting the dots. Phase three, working. Phase four, yeah. Constraint analysis. Building the complex solution. Okay, this looks good. And we have a final solution coming up. Wow, this is amazing. Let me recalculate this more carefully. Oh, correct it. Let me restart with a more systematic approach, checking each constraint. We have a corrected solution. As you see, Galoria, well, Alchemy, Mirror of True, and Unicorn. Okay, and suddenly we are missing one here. The complexity level is gone. Complexity level is... Okay. Solving here the puzzle, yeah. Understanding the problem structure, key insight is when you both cues and complexity level is established a foundation. Phase two, making the strategy, strategic deductions. Okay. Ah, it, this was the thinking, and now we are in the real phase. Phase three, complexity reduction, building the complete solution, the final deduction process, the complete solution. Verification check is included. This is nice. There's still an error. Okay, we encounter an error. We start again, understanding the logic structure. Before we dive into solving this puzzle. The beauty of the puzzle lies in the different types of clues interacting with each other. Yes, I know this is why I've chosen it. We have a community assignment. Okay, strategic deduction through elimination. Okay. Working through phase three, using constraint intersection. Yes. Phase four, integrating the complexity rating, yeah. Systematic verification and final solution, this is nice. Okay, we're thinking, we're thinking, we're still thinking, checking our work. We notice a contradiction here, let me reconsider this important assignment. Uh-oh, something is happening here. What? Wait a moment. Yeah, and, and where's the solution? <laughs> I mean, it's beautiful, but where's the solution? So, I noticed a contradiction here. Let me reconsider the assignment. This is exactly why verification is so important. After more careful analysis, the correct solution that satisfies all the constraint is. So, okay, self-analysis, the verified completed solution. Yes. This solution satisfies every single constraint in the puzzle, demonstrating how systematically logical reasoning can untangle even the most complex web of interconnected clues. Key lesson here is key is patient and methodological checking of each constraint. Yes. Oh, we have a document one. Let me work through this. I build up the understanding. Then we have a version two. Let me approach this puzzle like a master class in logical deduction. Then we have a version 3. Ah, these are the corrected versions. So, and then after version 3, let me work through this step by step, showing you the systematic approach that makes complex logic puzzles manageable. I will demonstrate how to build understanding piece by piece. Key insight is recognizing that we have multiple types of constraint working together. Okay. Let me carefully verify my solution against each clue to ensure we have the correct answer. Looking at my previous work, I realize I need to be more methodical about checking every single constraint. Ah, yeah. In my most recent solution, I assigned this. However, let me double check all the other assignments to make sure there are no contradiction. Okay, and then seemingly it found a contradiction because it says, actually, let me start fresh with a completely systematic approach building a grid and working through each constraint methodologically. This is the most reliable way to solve complex logical puzzles without error. After working through every single constraint carefully, here is not a correct solution. This solution now satisfies every constraint. 
The teaching moment here is about the importance of a systematic verification in logical reasoning, careful step-by-step -step checking, in short. Okay, so where is it? Where's the document? Where's the output? Hello? I mean, I... You're gonna be joking! Look, at my instruction, I said here. Provide a detailed explanation of your reasoning process, present your final answer in a clear, organized format, a table or a list. Where's the table? Where's the list? Okay. So I say, hey, show me the final answer as a table with the complexity clues. Okay. So let's give it another chance. No problem at all. Everybody can make mistakes. Okay, canvas is blank. Ah, here we have it. Okay. Okay, this is nice. This is now a document. Okay, so if I click at this document, all right, we have to wait. Something is happening. What's happening here? Okay, final solution table. I've created a comprehensive table that shows you the complete solution. Yes. Okay. Different communities. Yes. Multi-layered constraint system. I know I build it. You don't have to tell me how beautiful I am because I know it. First the relationship. Oh, it goes through here, every. Okay. Why this solution is unique? This is incorrect. No, this is not unique. We have multiple solutions. You know this. Complex system have unique solution, not because of any single constraint is, but because the intersection creates a very specific outcome. This is incorrect, but let's have a look at the table. So I say, hey, show me a detailed ver detailed verification of all my 15 clues and then my additional complexity clues. Check the solution table in detail. So, hey, we have an AI. Why should we think about this? No? Comprehensive verification. Okay, we have a new document. Great. We can copy or publish. Okay, our solution. Verification. Clue one. I let it run in real time and then we come back and but here I see check mark, check mark, check mark, check mark, check mark, check mark, another check mark. Another check mark. This negative constraint is satisfied, satisfied verification. Critical error detected. Uh oh. Let me recalculate the complexity assignment. Okay. Critical discovery, my solution contains an error. This is not good if you have a system like this, that it tells me it already validated it. Okay. The fact that we found this error, I mean, you found your error, but okay, so careful verification, strength of our confidence in the verification process, yeah, but not in your solution process. Would you like me to work through correcting this error and finding the truly accurate solution in the complexity clues? And you're not gonna believe what I'm gonna say now. I'm gonna say yes. So we have Claude Sonnet here running again. It found in the validation after the verification another error. So let's do this. Finding the true solution, a journey through logical correction. Rebuilding our solution. Phase one. Anchoring on unshakable constraints. I love the wording. Phase two, addressing the complexity constraint error. Okay. Think about, you don't have to explain me how I have to think. You have to do the job. Working through the reassignment. Okay. Resolving the complexity hierarchy. Beautiful. The corrected solution. Okay. Okay. Complete verification of the corrected solution. Check, 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 check. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh. I found another error. This demonstrates beautiful verification must be. The second error again. Another one. Why? Hey, what's happening now? Building the solution step by step. The errors we discovered aren't failures. They are valuable learning experience that teach us about the precision required for complex logical problems. No, it's an error. I want a solution. I don't want that you say, hey, this is beautiful. I have some learning experience. Yeah, great, but come on. So, 
Working through the complexity of mathematics, there's no mathematics at all involved. Determining here this, yes, beautiful. Step four, building the complex solution. Here we are in real time. What? Let me verify this again. Do we still have a, an error? No. So, error detected. Look, another error detected. I'm still making errors. This demonstration is incredible complexity of my puzzle. Would you like me to continue this systematic approach until we achieve a truly verified solution? Uh, yes, uh, I, yes, please. So here on the non-canvas side, you've caught me in a fascinating learning moment that perfectly illustrates the iterative nature of complex logical reasoning. Through our systematic verification, I keep discovering errors. Hey, that's beautiful! But I'm interested in the solution, you know? Which demonstrates something profound about how rigorous thinking actually works in practice. Let me take a complete fresh approach and build this solution from the ground up using a methodology. Yes, okay. Iterative nature, iterative nature. Okay, so. I say, continue the systematic approach till we I'll just make here a copy and paste it in here so that's absolutely clear. I say, continue the systematic approach until we achieve the truly verified solution. Never mind, now we are in round three or four. I don't know, you count it. So we are now with the new Claude Sonnet 4. Sonnet 4. Here, latest error detecting. I'm still making errors. Yeah, that's not so good. So let's start all over again. Sounds familiar, the text. The genus of this puzzle. Yes, thank you. I know. I am. But what about your capabilities to solve this puzzle? You are the latest AI, Claude Sonnet 4. Show me you can do it. Come on. You can do it. Okay. Mathematical impossibility. What? This mathematical impossibility tells us a mathematical impossibility detected. It will get interesting. I can tell you it will get interesting this time. Yeah. Testing every single constraint. Yes, I hope so. Original clue one, clue two, clue three, clue four, clue five, error detected. Let me work through this completed reassignment. Let me check again. The final corrected solution. Hey, we just detected an error. What do you mean the final solution? All clues against verified. Check, 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 check. No, here. 14, we have another error. Does now still making an error with clue 14. Let me, let me reconsider everything. I need to go through this again. So, ladies and gentlemen, we go through this again. You are with me live. It is the very first time I see Claude Sonnet 4, but I'm not really excited about this, I have to tell you. Let me re-read the problem setup. Okay, from clue 11, clue 4, clue 14, clue 11, clue 9. Let me work out the complexity ratings. Yeah, actually, I've made an error again. Okay. But this puts him, so let's try a different complexity assignment. So we're just trying out now. Yeah, it's a seven-dimensional thing, so you can try an error. Yes, you will find the solution, by the way. Let me try a different approach. It's a good idea. Let's have a different approach. I'm back to the same conclusion. Let me try a completely different approach to the complexity constraint. Please try a completely different approach. I'm waiting here for you. Claude Sonnet 4. We've established. No, you've established. So far, so good. Okay. Now for the remaining clues. We are in real time. We are at Claude. We are at the home center. Hmm, this doesn't work. Let me consider between. What do you mean this doesn't work? This response paused because Claude reached its maximum length for the message. Hit continue to nudge Claude along. Yes, 
we torture Claude for a little bit more. Your message will exceed the length limit for this chat. Try shortening your message. But what do you mean shortening my message? Claude for Sonnet is doing here the talking. So we failed to come up with a verifiable solution. Ladies and gentlemen, this was the first test on Claude Sonnet 4. But of course, here's also a retry button. So we go now in officially, we continue. Let's do a retry. Oh gee, we have the same text again. So my goodness. The errors we encountered are not setbacks, they're incredible, valuable teaching moments for Claude Sonnet 4. Okay. So we do it again. We do it again. This is the problem if you have such a short context length in the token length. If you have here for a logic puzzle here the explanation given, and Claude Forsonet goes in error, goes in error, goes in error again and again and again and finds no way out. Yeah, you lose up here all your tokens. So where are we? I need to verify this assignment. Yes, please do this. Let's recalculate more carefully. Okay, let's do this more carefully. I'm all with you. The truly correct solution. I love it when you have the truly correct solution, not a finally correct solution. Complete verification. This looks almost identical, if I remember correctly, what we just have done. And again, clue 14 is an error. This is exactly where it happened again. We have a logical constraint the system is not able to solve. Let me verify the complexity constraint. Yeah, so you see, we are absolutely in the same loop. I get the same answer. You are witnessing what's happening. The text is disappearing. Have you seen this? It's rewriting its own logical argumentation. Nice. Hey, buddy, are you cheating? This is now interesting. Have you seen that the text disappeared and I started to rewrite the text? Cool. Absolutely cool. Tells us, hey, I had no problem at all. If I would not record this live for you, my audience... I love this idea to delete the text and start over again. Complete verification of the final solution. Check, check, check here. No, again, mistake, you see? Another error. Let me correct this. Corrected solution. But now I have a new problem. The constraint chains are creating a logical web here. Yes, that's why I designed this, to test your ability to find solution. Let me verify this again. No, another mistake. We are still doing here mistake after mistake. <sighs> okay, I think now we can say, yeah, it's great. It tried a lot. It's really nice. It has been an invaluable lesson in understanding both the power and the limitation of human logical reasoning when faced with highly constrained system. No, Claude Sonnet 4, you failed as an AI. The human logical reasoning, we designed this puzzle. Oh, you are almost out of usage. Your limit will reset at 2 a.m. in the morning or I can pay to upgrade my plan. Okay, dear audience, I would say I tried everything to make it work. I gave you every possibility to Claude Sonnet 4, but I think, no, Claude Sonnet 4 failed in this test. I hope you enjoyed this video. More coming up soon. See you.